Tuesday afternoon on Radio West Fife and Gordon Gray has joined us in the studio. Thanks for coming along this afternoon, Gordon. My pleasure, David. It's brilliant to have you here. Uh, I must admit, though, I am not familiar with your work at all. Is this your first ever book? It's the first ever book and it's a project I've decided I'd have a go at um, not long after I retired, about five years ago. And uh, I just started jotting down a list of ships that I'd been on over the various uh-huh. years during my childhood and adult life. Uh-huh. So and what actually made you put pen to paper to start this? I don't know really, it was just something I was decided I would do and see what happened really. I started putting together little anecdotes and events, experiences and things that had happened on some of the ships and then I started to add to that. It really grew from that into uh, what is that actually now become, which is a, a full published book which was quite amazing so it's available on paperback just now and without giving too much away what is passing ships about it's a a series of memories recollections of events experiences things that have happened to me things that have happened to other people on board different ships at different times right from when i was two years old right the way through my school boy days when i went off to sea on various different ships trawlers timber ships I spent uh, five years in the Royal Navy as a junior officer, so obviously there's all sorts of experiences and events from there. And then more recently, uh, my wife and I have been on a number of polar expedition trips, uh, which are always fascinating, and uh, so those are included as well. So there's a bit of, hopefully, something for everybody in the book. Is there any element of fiction in the book, or is it all entirely based? It's all facts-based. Um, so the, all your ideas and inspirations come from your personal life experience. Yeah. Superb. Yeah. Um, has anyone else played a big part in writing the book? No, it's something I did myself. My, my wife was sort of knew what I was doing, but I uh, deliberately kept her away from it <laughs> to some extent because she probably knows me well enough that, uh, you know, I, I might not have been quite the same book, but uh, it might have been a better book, I'm sure. But uh, <laughs> she's now read it and is very happy with it. So I think that must have turned out OK. <laughs> I would imagine you'd have had to have gone back and carried out a great deal of research. Um, Have you met any interesting characters along the way? Anybody famous, for example? Um, I have met one or two famous people. I remember once when I was in the Navy, we were doing some uh, training over on uh, Port Edgar on the other side in uh, what used to be HMS Lochinvar on a mine hunter called HMS Nurton. And we were doing a, a training course for some Royal Navy Reserve officers. And I was bending over the plotting table describing what was going on and when I looked up I suddenly realised I was staring straight into the blue eyes of Robin Knox Johnson who is uh, a very famous single-handed yachtsman who sailed round the world single-handed um, many years ago now but uh, all of a sudden there I was staring at one of my childhood heroes. <laughs> it was a bit off-putting. <laughs> Just like that. Just like that. Radio West Five. So back to you, Gordon. You've always had an interest in all things uh, nautical, shall we say. Where, where did it all begin? Well, my earliest memory of it all beginning was on a McBrain steamer in about 1950, when I was probably about two. As Some an early, memory. <laughs> <laughs> and as an early memory, I can still remember, you know, sitting as a little toddler on the warm teak decks and looking at the smoke coming out of the big red funnel and the great huge things called seagulls that were squawking around. And it sort of carried on from there right through my childhood. I was always fascinated by ships and polar exploration and all the books I ever read were on that subject. Yeah. And it carried on to your adult career and, and it, life. It carried on as well. through, yeah. It just carried on through and uh, just followed a path, really. Not a particularly structured one, but it <laughs> <laughs> followed, followed through. Who do you think would be most interested in reading your book? I think, it, well, obviously anybody with an interest in ships uh, of any sort will, will find it interesting. And I think people with any sort of travel interest to different places uh, around the world that uh, are described in some of the chapters will be of interest to people. And hopefully it'll be, even for those not interested in ships or with no marine background, uh, they will find it interesting and hopefully instructive of, of what life is like in various types of ships. I mean, one of the reasons you're at Radio West Fife today is uh, to tell us all about Thursday. You're back in Dunfermline. Yeah. Thursday night in uh, Dunfermline in Waterstones in the Kingsgate, we'll be doing a, what they call a book signing, which it, uh, starts at about six o'clock. And basically what will happen, I will give a, a chat for about half an hour of 
really an overview of the book, but I'll be using photographs from the book to, to illustrate the chat. And then obviously if people have any questions that they'd like to ask, I'll be available to do that afterwards. And if anybody's kind enough to want to buy the book, then I'll more than happily sign, sign copies as well. Thank you very much for coming along to Radio West 5 today and I'll try and pop along to the Kingsgate on Thursday at uh, 6 o'clock, you say it started, yeah? 6 o'clock. Yep. If people can't make it along, is there any uh, way they can find out a wee bit more about the book? They Uh, can find out about the book on the publisher's website, which is Amberley Publishing, or they can find it on Amazon, and obviously they can find out from the staff in Waterston who know all about it as well. Yep, superb. Um, I've just had a wee nosy online here, it's uh, amberley-books.com. Thanks for coming along to the studio today and all the best. Thank you very much indeed, David. Thank you for your time and for the opportunity. Gordon Gray, author of Passing Ships.